North Korea's recent test of the Hwasong-19 missile is more than just another missile launch. It's a leap into a new era of military capability, pushing technological boundaries and intensifying global tension. This massive intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM boasts record-breaking stats, claiming an altitude of over 4,700 miles and a flight time of 86 minutes. But what's behind North Korea's drive to create such a powerful weapon? And why did they choose now to unveil it? These questions take us into the heart of a complex, high-stakes political and technological power play. In this video, we'll break down North Korea's strategic motives, analyze the new missile's cutting-edge design, and discuss the implications for international diplomacy in space. The Hwasong-19 isn't just another weapon in North Korea's arsenal, it's a game-changer in terms of both technology and strategic reach. Unlike previous missiles, the Hwasong-19 is powered by solid fuel technology, a key advancement that enhances its mobility and reduces its launch preparation time. This new capability allows North Korea to launch without extensive pre-launch activities, making it much harder to detect and intercept. It's a shift that the world's military experts are watching closely, and for good reason. Solid fuel technology has long been sought after by North Korea. Their previous model, the Hwasong-18, introduced the concept, but the Hwasong-19 takes it to a new level. North Korea has designed this missile to be even larger, mounted on a robust 11-axle transporter erector launcher tail. This setup gives it more flexibility and power, potentially increasing its range and payload capacity. The Hwasong-19 has achieved the highest recorded altitude and longest flight time of any North Korean missile to date, an extraordinary leap from the Hwasong 18's capabilities. Why does this matter? With its extended range and high altitude capabilities, the Hwasong 19 can reach a much larger area than its predecessors, potentially even the entire continental United States. This development sends a clear message North Korea is not only improving its military capabilities, but is also shifting the power dynamics of missile defense systems globally. This missile isn't simply a show of strength, it's a strategic tool designed to enhance North Korea's deterrence by showcasing their growing technological prowess. North Korea's military advancements come at a time of growing regional tensions. The ability to deploy such powerful missiles more discreetly and quickly changes the balance of power in East Asia. Nations like Japan and South Korea now face increased pressure to bolster their defenses. In a world where nuclear deterrence is paramount, the Hwasong-19 represents North Korea's bold declaration that they're prepared to operate on a new level of military power. The timing of this missile test is no coincidence. It came just days before the U.S. federal election, leading analysts to question whether it was a deliberate move to exert pressure on the United States. North Korea has a history of provocative actions, especially when it sees a chance to gain diplomatic leverage. This launch is likely aimed at showing that North Korea is a force to be reckoned with, not just on the Korean peninsula, but on a global scale. Furthermore, North Korea's alliance with Russia adds a new dimension to the situation. Recently, North Korea committed troops to support Russia's efforts in Ukraine, an action that has caught the attention of the global community. Reports suggest that thousands of North Korean troops are either deployed or on standby to assist Russia. This support for Russia has not only aligned North Korea with a major global power, but has also strengthened the geopolitical divides between East and West. This alliance between North Korea and Russia, alongside the missile test, signals a broader strategy. By aligning with Russia, North Korea gains both a powerful ally and potential access to advanced technology. The cooperation between these two nations creates a new set of challenges for Western countries, particularly the US, Japan, and South Korea. This test sends a stark reminder that North Korea, while isolated, has managed to establish partnerships that could shift the balance of power in the region. The response from the US, South Korea, and Japan was immediate and unified. They condemned the launch, seeing it as a violation of multiple United Nations Security Council resolutions, these joint exercises and diplomatic statements serve as a clear warning to North Korea that such actions won't go unchecked. But at the same time, North Korea's actions suggest they're prepared to push boundaries, 
even at the risk of further isolation. This missile test isn't just about military power, it's a statement of North Korea's intentions to navigate its own path, with or without international approval. The record-breaking altitude of the Hwasong-19 test has raised new questions about North Korea's potential interest in space exploration. By achieving such a high trajectory, North Korea has shown that its technology is not limited to terrestrial boundaries. This development adds a unique layer of complexity to international space diplomacy, especially as more countries, including North Korea, eye the skies for military and exploratory purposes. North Korea's missile test touches on a delicate issue space as a potential conflict zone. Currently, many countries, including Japan and South Korea, have joined the Artemis Accords, a U.S.-led initiative aimed at ensuring peaceful collaboration in space. But North Korea's recent actions, coupled with its alliance with Russia, pose potential challenges to the concept of peaceful space exploration. If North Korea's missile technology continues to advance, it could potentially disrupt the balance of power in space adding tension to an already competitive domain. Moreover, Russia's partnership with China in space exploration further complicates the situation. Russia plans to leave the International Space Station IS by 2028 and establish a new alliance with China. This emerging east-west divide could lead to a split in space exploration initiatives with countries aligning based on political rather than scientific objectives. With these shifting alliances, the cooperative spirit that once defined space exploration could soon face challenges, making North Korea's actions even more consequential. The implications are vast. If countries start seeing space as a military domain, international cooperation in scientific pursuits might be overshadowed by competition and defense strategies. North Korea's Hwasong-19 test, while primarily a show of military strength, hints at the possibility of broader ambitions in space. This test forces us to consider how geopolitical tensions on Earth might spill over into space, a realm historically devoted to peaceful exploration. The Hwasong-19 test represents a critical turning point, both in military technology and international relations. North Korea's ability to launch such an advanced missile sends a clear message about their strategic goals and growing alliances, particularly with Russia. As countries respond to this test with caution, it's clear that North Korea's influence is expanding and their actions will likely provoke further developments on the world stage. In the broader context, this missile test underscores how advancements in one domain, whether military or space, can reshape the global landscape. As countries like Russia and North Korea push their boundaries in both, international cooperation faces new challenges. For now, the world watches with bated breath Aware that this missile isn't just about North Korea's strength, it's a glimpse into a future where military technology and space exploration may be forever intertwined. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.